exciting because I'm going to be trying out Equinox for the first time. I went to an event with Motion LA at Equinox over the weekend and I actually got a seven day free trial to try it out, see what it is, which I'm so excited about because if you guys have never heard of Equinox before, it is probably one of the most expensive gyms. I think it's like $240 a month. Let me fact check that. $2,200 a year. Sounds absolutely insane, but we're gonna see this week if that is actually worth it and uh, see why some people actually pay this price for this gym. I called the other day and got it all set up, so now we just need to go and see what this place is all about. <laughs> Toto down my shoes, Euro step my moat. I just caught the ring, yeah, my fingers hold. On the finer things, that's just what I do. When and down like three, me and my brother shoot. Toto down my shoes, Euro step my moat. I just caught the ring, yeah, my fingers hold. On the finer things, that's just what I do. When and down like three, me and my brother shoot. Who the fuck is you? Bitch, you need to stop She swallow all my pride When she gave me top You ain't doing jack I sip it on the rocks I rock my That was incredibly underwhelming I think I just went to the absolute wrong Equinox location I went to the Pasadena location Which, from the outside, I was wondering how it could even compare to the Irvine one Because that one was absolutely insane it honestly felt like i was at a freaking resort a big thing for me was that there was no sauna how are you paying that much money and there's no sauna in there i was looking around during the workout the people in there like there's no way you're paying this much money for this gym go to la fitness down the street 27 dollars 200 dollars which one do you choose la fitness has a sauna i'm sold i digress day one pasadena location not my favorite not the best um, let's try again tomorrow. Different location, different vibe. I'll see you then. We're at the Santa Monica location today, and this one seems like a really nice one, so I'm excited. Getting some energy, my Alani new. We're gonna have a great workout, so let's go. Told my brothers one day we gon' make it. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. I'ma told me one day I'll be famous. Remember when she used to say she hated us. That ended with life when I say shit. Now I'm inside all them people's playlists. So one day I'll be stomping on those stages. But right now we just dancing in the basement. Got inside a basement Said it's 4 a.m. Still with wavy tweaking bases Learn this shit ourselves On my own time I made shifts Shooting for the moon Gon' turn this Honda to a spaceship Shorty won't fuck with me I just won't get some rain and sleep Shit low free, yeah I never really know what to do with these I'm just kind of like Just kind of like Trying to figure out what I'm doing Because I don't know
fine. That's kind of bullshit. <laughs> okay, pay 200 plus dollars to work out at this gym, plus $6 for parking. That's a matcha right there. I'd rather get a matcha than park here. Speaking of. <laughs> I met up with Natalia and Caitlin after my workout to get some food, get some matcha, do some work. And now I finally have a second to chat with you guys about that experience this morning. I was at Equinox for such a long time. Like I worked out, I took a shower, I got ready. Like I gotta stay there all day. And now I'm starting to understand it a little bit more. Cause it's not just a workout. It's not just the gym. It's literally a whole experience. It is a lifestyle. It's luxury. That's what it is. It's like not necessary. It's luxury. I'm starting to get it. I'm on day two and I'm I'm catching up. I'm, I'm getting the swing of things. I don't know which one we're gonna go to tomorrow, but I'm already excited. Like I'm excited to go back. I'm excited to take another shower there because that was 10 out of 10 experience. Best shower I've ever taken, honestly. The water pressure, godly over the next three days i went to three different equinox locations i went to glendale irvine and huntington beach irvine was the one that had the most extra stuff they had a basketball court they also had a swimming pool huntington beach i will say has the best view ever because it overlooks the beach which was amazing i felt like the layout was the best here and this one felt the most luxury overall they all felt luxury, but this one was a little extra. Every location had rooms for different classes. They had Pilates, cycling, rowing, boxing, honestly, every single class you can imagine. And this plays a part in if the membership cost is worth it. Because if you go to these classes separately, usually they're about like $30 each unless you buy like bundle prices. So if you get them all in one place at your gym with all of the extra stuff that's already included and you pay monthly, it kind of makes sense. Every single location I started my workout off on the treadmill, which was interesting because every single location had different treadmills. They all were like the fancy treadmills with like the little screens and stuff and like tracking, you could watch YouTube, you could watch Netflix. They were nice. I will say my favorite thing about every location was how spacious everything was. All the machines were very spaced out and there were no people there. Every single time I worked out, I felt like there were no people within like 15 feet of me at all times which is quite nice. And for me, it's really nice for like filming because I'm not getting people in the background. I'm not bothering anyone. I get really clean, nice shots out of every single workout that I do. So that was really nice. I also loved all of the machines and how they're all like the more updated ones. I felt like they were a lot smoother and worked better than a lot of the machines that I use at LA Fitness. Every single move felt so good. And I don't know if this is just in my head. Every machine was like really nice and I felt, I felt it. I'm sore. Just so you guys know, I'm very sore after this week. But back to the bathrooms. I will say my other favorite part out of all of this were the bathrooms, the showers, the lockers, the getting ready areas, all of the amenities. They had every single thing you can want, you can need face wash, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, body lotion, face lotion, cotton swabs, blow dryer, flat iron, mouthwash, razors, shower caps, hair ties everything you can need which is a nice touch i will say and again adds to the price so i get that part i had to take advantage of the showers and i washed my hair there one day just for you guys i use the shampoo conditioner okay my hair is very stingy so i was nervous to try these but they use all kills products that's what all the body lotion and everything there is kills which is great love the brand loved how the shampoo had coconut oil i just thought it was great that i could use as much as i want and i'm like not thinking about how i need to save any because i don't want to buy another shampoo i was just like going in i'm just gonna say be careful using the razors the first time because i cut the shit out of my legs so be careful. But it was so nice every day to get ready, do my makeup, get dressed in the bathrooms. It honestly started my day every day on such a great note and I really loved it. Like it just had great energy and great vibes and I was genuinely excited to like get ready there every day. Now, final consensus. Yesterday was my last day of my Equinox trial and I'm very, very sad about it. I really, really wish I could have kept going with it. And that's where the question comes into play. Am I gonna get an Equinox membership after this? 
No. No, I'm not. I'm, I, I'm not. One, because I'm not really close to any of the Equinox locations. The Pasadena one sucked, as you guys know, and I would not pay that much money to go to that one. If I was closer to like the Irvine one or the Huntington Beach one, then maybe it would make sense. A lot of the locations were very different, so I honestly just think it depends on what location you're in, what you're looking for, what you want, what you're willing to pay for, what you think is worth it personally. But I just think it's amazing. I'm fascinated by it. I think it's a great place. I would love to get a membership. I would love to be an Equinoxer, genuinely. It's just not in the cards for me right now. But I will say that I'm actually so sad to go back to LA Fitness tomorrow. Don't wanna do it. Just don't wanna do it. Don't wanna do it. I want to take another Equinox shower. That's all I want in life. Maybe one day my dream will come true, but that was such a nice week in my life. And if you guys have been debating on getting an Equinox membership, and that's what you're here for, or you're just curious, like I was. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Equinox? Equinox, baby. If you wanted to give me like another trial or like, you know, a membership, like go off, please. I love you. I get you. I understand you now. And that's all I can ask for. So anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching today's video. I had so much fun filming it and I want to do more videos like this. Different kind of style, but fun. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I love you so much.